in March of this year, that's half a year ago, I sold my wooden desks and I bought two Magnus, Secret Lab Magnus desks instead. And um, I'm missing the wooden look, the wooden feel. I'm missing my old desk. I'm missing uh, having one long desk instead of having two desks. And there are so many f things with the Magnus Secret Lab that annoys me from time to time. And let's go over all the reasons why I regret purchasing the Secret Lab Magnus desk. The first thing is that it's really, really hard to mount uh, monitors. Right now I have a dual mount of monitors and before that I have one big monitor. But getting a monitor arm that fits with the Magnus Secret Lab desk is really, really tough. All of your Elgato arms, let's say you have lights or anything else, or let's say you want to have your uh, road mount like this. Let's say you want to mount anything else on the back side on the side where I have these mounted here. It's uh, virtually impossible because there's sim simply not room for it. This on the road mount uh, bottom right here, there's not room for this. There's not room for the Elgato down under. Yeah, the desk might be 70 centimeters long, but because the wires go down in this tray, which is actually the main feature, main reason to buy this, but because of this, there's less desk space than even a smaller desk would have and th th there are so many things there is it's black it's 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 whole it's dark black and everything on my desk is black right now i don't know if it's this table or if it was just invisible before but it there is just so much dust everywhere the dust is collecting into big piles and i'm just like using like a, a dusting off every day every day to just get some sort of clean look and i'm tired of this i can't mount my speakers on a speaker arm like get them up on speaker arms because there's not room for a mount i cannot uh, do anything i cannot screw uh, up uh, things at the bottom of my desk of course i could use magnets on the sides but not on the bottom because the bottom is not ma magnetic they are they are so expensive and they are good but they are just not versatile if it, if it makes sense and I, I think they're not and this this is a ridiculous reason I think they are not that pretty I think they're actually quite ugly I think they are the black and the cold steel look uh, together with a, a dark office like mine it's just uh, I'm missing the wooden feel and at my office at work I have these IKEA Colby desks that I'm really, really considering selling these desks to get instead I cannot before before I had this I had a like a top down thing I had all of my uh, workflow things are gone another thing is I actually bought these because I wanted to sit them uh, against each other out in the middle of the room like from this wall and out of the, like in the middle of the room this wall and out but if the discs are not uh, placed up against a wall then they are wobbly and that's not what you're expecting from a 50 kilogram heavy desk and i also bought these desks because i wanted to play and game with my son but his computer is moved into his own room again so right now it's just filled with a lot of like crap instead um so I have a. I'm regretting purchasing them, and if you are considering purchasing the secret desk, this I say just say it feels like it's not worth the money. I think they are too expensive, and you can't really. They're too unversatile, if that's a word. You cannot mount anything, and if you're a streamer, then this desk is really, really a bad desk for you.